as you can probably see, I'm a little advanced in years, and when I'm listening to younger people talking, sometimes it can be quite confusing. So I wrote this poem called The Alien Nation. My age group's confused by the word on the street, the chit-chat when young people meet. Many of the words mean nothing to us folk, less like a language and more like a joke. Sorry, Oscar Wilde, but we seem lopsided, one nation by a common language divided. To explain the English street talk scene, I'll briefly tell you what I mean. If I say she's hot, but he's cool, what's the game? In fact, their temperature seems the same. Divide and confuse seems the unwritten rule. I find myself lost an uninformed fool. Cops are feds. Blue bottles are history. Most of these words just seem like a mystery. I'm more bothered. Well, I suppose I am. Street talk leaves me in a bit of a jam. I've got your back, but who's got my front? Perhaps take a chance, maybe a punt. Relaxing is known as vegging out, they say. But veg out sounds like a carrot on an away day. Wicked's not evil, but amazing, I think. If I've won the lottery, it's really sick. Well, that sounds like all the extra wealth has just gone on to impair my health. If my wife's made up, she's going out. Fab, yo, in it, what's all that about? When I was young, long, long ago, a grand wasn't cash, but a large piano. When I was a child, Noddy had a gay day. He slept with his pal. Outrageous, you'd say. Well, Noddy called him big ears, poor little chap. Now elf and safety put a stop to that. Now Noddy would say, See you later, Steffo. Big Ears would say, my hearing's okay, don't you know? Social media is yet another street. Shouldn't a Twitter comment be a twit, not a tweet? Well, fit, gutted, massive bro, innit? Says the well-informed youngster up to the minute. My final thoughts, I must add in vexation, is we all seem part of an alien nation.